Warm welcome to this session on basics of data analysis with M+. In this session, we will create a file for M+, and how to create a project in M+. And we will also learn how to load a data file in M+. Before we proceed towards M+, we need to understand some basic rules. Either has identified some basic rules, which include number one, M plus is not case sensitive. You can freely write capital letters or you can use small letters. It doesn't make any difference. Second, every command line has to end with a semicolon. The sign of semicolon is an indication that a command is going to end here. Third, a single command line cannot exceed 90 characters. If any command line exceeds 90 characters, M plus will not run. It will show errors. Hence, we need to cut each line after 90 characters. Fifth, variable names cannot be longer than the 8 characters. Hence, while preparing a data file for M+, we need to carefully examine the size of each uh, names of each variable and see if any variable has a name longer than eight characters, we need to cut it short. The last one, each line of comment has to start with an exclamation mark. Once you put an exclamation mark and put some note or comment, that comment or note will turn into green color. So the green color is an indication that it is a comment or a note. There's some other consideration also. For example, M plus does not like missing values. We need to adjust them. We need to code them. You can use code like minus nine, minus 99 or nine, triple nine or whatever you want to do it. However, when you're doing programming in M plus, you need to clearly specify what is the code of missing value. And the last consideration is M plus also does not like string variables. So when you're preparing data file, make it sure that the no variable is in string format means all variables should be in numeric form now the question is how to create a data file for m plus so before i make a demonstrations let me explain the answer to this particular question open a data file in spaces then save it as tab delimited format so it will show uh, an extension dot dat secondly when you're saving it as a new uh, uh, file so in the category of in, uh, encoding use the option of local encoding third thing you have to keep in mind that uh, the option of write variables names to spreadsheet or Excel must be unchecked. So well, now let me show you how to process data in spaces before proceeding toward the M plus. See, this data set has uh, all variables are in numerical for numeric format none is in string format so the first condition is met second none of the variable has a name longer than eight characters third condition is none of the variable is having any missing value let me check it so like all variables
here you see yeah so in this table you will see so the second row shows the number of missing values so none is a missing value right coming back so now i need to save it save it as here save as type tab delimited then in encoding use local encoding then uncheck the option of the right variable names and save it in the same folder where uh, uh, my project is present right? now that is ready now the next step is how to create a project in M plus in step number one create a new project in M plus then save it in the same folder where data file is present step two write commands like title column and here give the name of the output of the project whatever you want to give it and then put a command sign up semicolon semicolon indication that this command is terminating here data again colon so the paste here full path of the file where data is located however if data file is located exactly in the same folder where the new project is located so then you don't need to give the entire path only only give the, the name of the file you simply write here File that file is equal to uh, file name variable. So then you write here variable names are give complete list of the variable. But remember, none of the row should have characters more than ninety. So then write analysis uh, type is basic. Step three run. So let me show you in M plus. So this is M plus. So you know, straight away go to file, then new. So you will see this kind of the uh, window will open up. None of these would be there. So in order to save the time, I have already written commands. Save as. And once you save as, so save it in the same folder where data is present. So the my data is present also in the same folder. So here is my data. And so that's why I'm keeping it here. So then title, title, column, column, then job set. So I'm giving a, 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 a name to the project. So then putting a sign of the semicolon. Remember, so the semicolon is a sign that this command is terminating here. Then data, column, so the file is equal to uh, here, here's the file name. So you see here, since data file is present where this particular project is located, both are in the same folder. That's why I'm giving only only a name of the data file. Otherwise, I would have to uh, present here full path of the uh, file. So then variables. So the variables, um, uh, all variables, is, so are here. So how to uh, create a list of the variables? So let me show you how you see this command in your SPSS. So you will see, so the variable list will come here. Just control A, select them, and click the option of the paste. So the once you do it, you will see in uh, syntax versions all variable lists will come here. So simply copy it and paste them. Since I'm, I have to meet the requirement that the none of the lines should have characters more than 90. So that's why what I'm doing basically. So after uh, every category, uh, end of the, each category of the variables, I am uh, starting a new line. But you see, at the end of each line, I'm not putting a, a sign of the semicolon. Reason is that. Uh, command is not yet ending here the moment it ends here that's why basically at the 
end of the uh, all variables i am putting command uh, and giving an indication that all variables list has been exhausted here then if some missing variable uh, is, uh, missing value is there then you can write it like missing is equal to all into minus 99 if it's 9 or triple 9 whatever the code you have put in your data file you put it there and then the semicolon then analysis colon so type is equal to basic so now save it before running it so so this is an, a, an option for running analysis run it So if it is having some error, it will show. So since last line shows the input reading terminated normally, so that means the uh, so entire uh, all commands have been uh, executed successfully. So this is how you can process a data file for M plus and how you can create a new project in M plus. So thanks for watching.